tell me what this is. This is a model of the building, uh, which is the location where Pedro Hernandez identified that he took the boy inside the banana box and put him where trash was collected. So uh, this is Thompson Street going this direction. This is Prince Street. Uh, and he says this looks very familiar. And this is, in fact, uh, where the boy was, was apparently taken. Uh, but what's different about it is there wasn't a door at the time. So he identifies this as that looks just like the place, uh, except there wasn't a door there. And then he goes on and so where, where did he, using this model, where did he take the body? Uh, there what, was no door. There was there. no door. He took the body, went down the stairs, and put and, the box with the trash down here. And so why did you go to the trouble and expense of building this model? Well, uh, as I say, in, in 1979, this is what we would have done. We didn't have all the fancy uh, digital representations. And I think sometimes, even today, uh, there is nothing like a physical model that uh, enables a witness to be able to talk to jurors about and explains things, and so not just in three dimensions, which you can sort of do, I think, on a video, but actually you can see it and, and, and touch it, and it's something that I think is easier to assimilate. My best judgment is this was an important piece of evidence to demonstrate to the jury what happened that night.